Hi everyone, welcome to your Moon in Scorpio reading. This is, as you guessed, for the Moon in Scorpio. And I don't actually have my calendar <laughs> in front of me um, to check those dates, but I believe that the Moon in Scorpio is going to be from around September 27th to September 29th. Anywho, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> love you well, let's jump right in um we've got the energies here we want to thank everybody that's here on the call um and just to uh say it before i forget if you're interested in uh, working with me personally for a personal reading for um, an energy healing session via zoom or for mentoring please do go ahead and reach out to me everything is on my etsy page Okie dokie, folks. Uh, let's jump in. What's going on under this moon in Scorpio? I love that. Look at the ace. Ace of pentacles. It's so nice. It's kind of like it's firm. It's saying we're here. It's solid. Wherever you are when this reading finds you, you, you seem to be on firm, uh, firm and solid grounding. Now, whether or not that firm and solid grounding is firmly and solidly within chaos <laughs> or firmly and uh, and solidly post chaos please know that wherever you are you're there for a reason and what you're experiencing is for a reason now oh that makes sense notice how there's mirroring we have this beautiful disc here and then we have this disc here the five of coins representing low self-worth poverty consciousness and sometimes all-out paucity but I see, I see why they made this feel so solid. Uh, because right now, there are solid things that are going on in our life. And uh, that it's almost like a control group, so to speak. And then we have these experiences that uh, allow us to, to gauge ourselves, to assess ourselves. Actually, I do want to bring this card in off to the side. It's the same card, actually, but I'm seeing the mirroring. Boing, boing, boing. They're like tic-tac-toe, broop. Um, so what, when I, for a quick example of that dynamic that I just probably muddled my way through would be like how the guides have been telling you that for these next few weeks, and it's already started, you're going to purposefully be experiencing um, interactions with others that are going to cause you some type of stress or friction or whatnot it could be something simple like making you you know causing you to feel a certain type of way or it can be an all-out you know uh, assault <laughs> I'm for lack of a better word that, that would be the most right but uh, conflict arguing and it, it's also coming in the terms you're having you also having these interactions via the things that you see other people going through so for example right now we've got a lot of people being exposed for cheating and infidelity same thing um, on 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 our, in our celebrities look they're out there doing it all the time people are doing it all the time but right now it doesn't it feel like everybody and their mother is doing it and they're being scandalized and reported on um, and that's not a surprise because here we are in the sign of Libra. We are just coming out of the Libra moon where you have the sun in Libra, right? You have to understand that uh, these are all about relationships. But the point is that it's not your job to watch these people and judge. It's your job to observe what's happening and then to observe how it's making you feel. Do you automatically get angry? Do you get into victim mode? Do you make this about you? Do you gossip about it? Do you start judging the person? Do you like a lot of people I'm seeing just cat getting caught up hard, you know, leaving these messages on their posts and saying all sorts of things like you're a scumbag. Like, dude, could you sign up for karma any more than that? <laughs> it's like here you see something on TV or in the media or even neighbors in your real life and such that has nothing to do with you aside from reflecting back to you a very uh, this very same vibration that you're carrying in your energy field that you may not be aware of because hello you're only on this planet for a few years whereas you've been on different planets and different space um, different times and spaces for a while you've done it all so you have it but you so disown it that you see it out in your world and now you're judging it listen listen so if you follow me and you've been paying attention look there here are the guides temperance card if you follow me and you've been paying attention 
Listen, they've been telling you, don't fall into that trap. Do not fall into that trap because you're just creating karma for yourself. And just for the record, what's the trap again? The trap is focusing on other people. Mind your business. As I put down the Ace of Swords, divine, Ace of Swords, divine communication. Mind your business. Seven of Wands, having good boundaries. Mind your business. Nine of Cups, uh, wish fulfillment. The more that you have these solid boundaries up and you pay attention to things just for the sake of focusing on yourself and giving yourself uh, the refinement and, um, and uh, rebirth that you need, the less likely you're going to get caught up creating realities for yourself uh, that, um, you know, karmic realities. Because when you're, because all of a sudden you're witnessing these things, now you're in action. Like whatever you're doing action about, be mindful about the, your motivations. Now I do want to say, boink, boink, boink. You see this? Beautiful. There's a key right there. Just go ahead. Leave this place of low self-worth, um, poverty consciousness. If you have chaos around you, leave it. You see people gossiping, don't engage. You see things happening and everyone's arguing, losing their minds about stuff. People are having conflicts for all sorts of stuff. That's none of your business. Get out of it. Oh, listen, I'm going to, you guys work that out. I'll be back. Listen, look at, here we are. Four of cups, literally the no thank you card. All right. The no thank you card. You see, spirit is, spirit is out here just, just trying. And I was just remarking, remarking to the homie, um, you guys know her, Emily, over at the One Woman Show on Instagram. And we, we were just chatting and I was like, you know what, dude, there is no reason to be getting caught up these days. Like if people just follow the collective energies, the collective readers, I, I'm doing collective readings. Uh, Emily does collective readings. I got, and through my stories, I've outlined some people that you guys might want to follow. Queen Cup is one of them. You can find her primarily on YouTube. Uh, she also has Instagram, but it seems more like a personal Instagram. But you can find her on YouTube. I love San Tarot, S-A-N, Tarot, right? Uh, she's a great collective reader. Uh, we have Baba Jolie, J-O-L-I-E, Baba Jolie. Um, on YouTube, amazing reader. I personally follow her all the time. And we've got Lee Harris, who does the collective energies at the beginning of the month and does a lot of offerings for a lot of people. Then we have other people on Instagram that are feeding us and helping us through, through you know, through our daily. We have Crystal the Oracle, like I showed you. I mean, there are just so many people. There are just so many names that I can't even bring them up right now. We have a lot of people um, practically putting out this content for free to help you know to help and so if you are tapped into these sources and those are just some of them yeah Phil Good is another one uh, Lori Ladd there are just so many um, yeah we've got Nicole uh, Pereira with at the holistic uh, therapist there Jeff I love Jeff I forgot what Jeff's um uh, handle is his profile is but he's the therapist maybe it's Jeff the therapist I don't remember so many people out here and if I forgot somebody forgive me it's just there are just so many good people out there um, we have homegirl from loving me after we uh, doing a lot of good work Ugh. we have I think Jen the soul am I saying it right Jen the soul oh gosh I'm, I'm, I can't remember but anyway well, I'll try and add something of hers to my story to, to check out the profile. These are people who work with these energies. Um, you, you just have to understand that a lot of times, even if they're not necessarily working, like doing what I'm doing, saying that, you know, giving you these energetic um, weather reports, basically, they're doing stuff that is in alignment, very much in alignment with the energies. So once you start to become better at identifying incoming energies, which is all we're doing right now, uh, then you can better be able to understand how these energies are affecting you, what they trigger in you. You'll see opportunities for personal growth, for health and well-being, and you know when to ride the waves of certain energies. You'll understand and be able to dismiss certain quote-unquote anomalies anomalies, aches, pains. Um, oh my gosh, these memories are coming up from my past and I don't know what to do and I can't get out of bed because I'm, yeah, listen, don't worry. You just got a Scorpio moon out. Just chill. You'll be good, good in about three days. That's how you get because you understand. 
But what happens is that a lot of people do not understand this. And so I do invite you that if you do enjoy these videos that I put out, on behalf of spirit by the way i'm just here being i'm the <laughs> the meeting station right but if you enjoy these videos please uh take notes learn and and try to just you know remember things in certain dynamics and i'll try my best to point things out so that you can um kind of do this on your own because you know what are we doing we're just telling you stuff you already know but may have forgotten for whatever reason and that same same thing, I forget a lot of things, you know, because I'm here on this planet now. And when I watch other people, whether they're readers or not, I, I learn and I take notes. That's what I do. I have Virgo, I have a Virgo rising. So <laughs> best believe those notes. <laughs> Speaking of, it, 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 look at the King of Cups and the Three of Swords, just giving hardcore scorpionic energy with that water and that that kind of not not like sadness and heartbreak that now trust me scorpionic energies are not always in heartbreak they're transformative when we think about scorpio energy we think about the ability to dig deeply within the self the psyche the subconscious and to transmute those energies so if you know some scorpios in your life god bless god bless um you will know the high vibing from the low vibing scorps because low vibing scorps they you know they're they can be uh <laughs> i just heard the word devilish like who who, who can't right but they can be very, they, they're like the, well, no, cancer is like super emo. When I think about emo, I think about cancer and the low vibe. Oh God, I can't, I just can't. Even though I do have a cancer north node. But anyway, I think Scorpio too, but Scorpio vibes more goth to me in that, that really low frequency, very intense, very um, a slave to their temptations. They, they, they're very shadowy they're untrusting very par paranoid at times um very what's the word intense um very um possessive i'm like there's a word that's escaping me while i list all the uh, these other words very possessive but when you have um a higher vibing scorpio you're you're seeing somebody who is able to identify the cycles feel the cycles and transmute it and move through it they're constantly going through stuff and showing us out here how to how to be better how to work within the shadow they are the netherworld they understand it right so right now we have a scorpionic moon and what the scorpionic moon is doing as from as i'm feeling here is it's kind of coming in to assist you as you guys know um I would say this the when we were we just came out of the sun in virgo and what i feel energetically was happening for the collective at that time is that we were all kind of learning tools we were uh, uh, being asked to be grounded take grounded analytical approaches to what is going on in our life um, observe take notes what whatever now that libra season is here now we're getting into actually playing with others rubbing up against others having frictions having you know um our ups and downs and we, we need to let go of the judgment that comes with virgo energy and step into the observation that you can have when you're in libra energy minding your p's and your q's saying your pleases and thank yous dotting your i's and crossing your t's and creating space to understand other people because now we're looking at other people looking without judging because when we see what other people have to offer us then we can assess ourselves not in a judgmental way but assess ourselves against these things that we're seeing and then we can synthesize scorpionic energy which is going which is coming up after the sun in libra we're going right into the sun in scorpio but right now we're coming off of a libra moon and we're coming into the moon in in scorpio so we're having a little bit of a taste right now when the scorpio when scorpio season comes through for us that's when we start to it's almost like we've we've observed we've seen a lot of things we've hoping uh, hopefully taken a balanced approach as those are the scales of libra to what we were noticing we were thinking about others and ourselves but then it's time to sit with those shadows in scorpio season to be okay with it to transmute it to refine think of it as like 
you were sweeping and cleaning all throughout and now it's time during so when Scorpio season hits to kind of take that dustpan and broom sweep it on up and then throw it out right but if you haven't learned the lessons if you haven't really noticed things and started on this during Libra season now guess what's gonna happen you're gonna get a little bit of sidelined in Scorpio because because these water energies I'm telling you it's all about these emotions and scorpionic energies are that's like still waters running deep okay that's that's some real deep stuff interestingly when I think about uh, the water signs um, Pisces cancer and Scorpio I kind of feel like pa this is how I feel it energetic energetically Pisces is like that little mist that of water droplets let's say you're at a waterfall right Pisces would be the f the the mist that is given off by the sheer force of everything you know it's it's spritey like it's the mist it's easy to get you know bubbly and happy in there but you can also be a little bit delusional you don't know you know you're caught up in the froth and right cancer is like the 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 waterfall itself it's it's getting in there it's artificial to me that cancer energy by the way my cancer north node is an energy i need to learn to love <laughs> as you can tell i love you cancers out there i'm sorry but i'm very strongly capricornian in many ways so i'm still going there i'm trying i'm trying but anyway the cancer cancerian waters to me could have that vibe it's like i'm going to like I'm going to just express myself here on this water and you can take what you want with the sheer force of it, right? It's this kind of energy. It's like, I'm crying. I need everyone to notice it. I need, this is when I feel that Cancerian water signy kind of thing. But when I feel the um, Scorpionic, they're not even at the surface. They're deep in the water. It's still down there. It's, it's dense. It's dark. It's, you know, it's it, you even feel heavier so we have these three lovely um, water signs all working together at different levels now that's a very simplified way of telling you guys communicating with you guys about how I feel energetically the differences in these energies okay there may be other people who feel them differently or perceive of them differently but that's how I feel so um, right now we are in this this scorpionic kind of feeling so get ready to have things come up from the depths but the question is what do you do with it right now under the Scorpio moon in Libra season as these things come up for you over the next few days it would be a good idea to observe them like how she has the this cup here observe what the energies are in this cup like oh my god I felt jealous I had no idea I was feeling that way or oh my gosh I thought I was okay with this you know divorce that I had five years ago I suddenly realize I'm not when I see that my husband is now happily married with you know for three years he's got you know two new kids and I thought I was doing stuff and I was but all of a sudden it just hit me because I saw where I was see where I am in comparison to him and it makes me feel right it hasn't in remember it has nothing to do with the other people it's just showing you what your emotions are around things and these are going to be emotions and shadows that you had no idea that you were carrying or that you may have known but you kind of shove off to the side it the beautiful thing about it the guides are saying is that at this time all of these things are coming up for us much like how like things pop up from like a a, a boy a little a buoy well, i don't know no or, or like a floatable or something if you push it down under the water let's say you push a whole bunch of them down they're gonna pop up to the surface these energies of yours are popping up to the surface and the best thing you can do like these look one two three four or the best thing you can do is note them and then you start to contemplate upon these. And then you can start asking questions like, where did this come from? Am I really feeling this? What, how do I feel about the fact that I'm feeling this? And don't forget to actually feel it, right? But it is, as, as you know, the ball is in your court. As always, the ball is always in your court. You have a chance to um, really transmute these energies. And if you're about, it, about that, about that healing life then you probably are going to take these these um times pretty seriously 
All right, um, let's go ahead and pull some surrender cards because I just feel, whoopsies, I'm sorry, I hope I didn't hurt your ears. Yeah, I see the Ace of Swords being highlighted here, so definitely let's listen up for some energies here that the guides would like you to kind of focus on under this new under this moon in Scorpio. And just in general. Boink. Yeah. Look at that. That's that's Scorpionic energy. <laughs> All right off the bat. Intimacy. And you know it's Scorpionic because uh, a high vibing Scorp uh, lear has learned to trust in many ways is okay with being vulnerable is okay being seen and being intimate and uh, if you're in a low vi vibe scorp scorpionic energy this is your greatest fear your greatest fear is trusting others and to be able to trust uh, you have to have um, uh, um, you have to be vulnerable be okay with that that's not easy for a lot of people, though, I have to be honest. Yeah? Surrender your belief in scarcity. <laughs> but when I see this card here, I'm actually seeing apathy. I'm getting here that if you, this is not for all of you, but this is definitely for some of you. I'm feeling that some of you uh, are being are being guided to especially around halloween time i know this we're looking at the moon in scorpio but remember scorpionic energies are scorpionic energies and they'll be out when the sun is in scorpio and halloween will be around that time by the way um i'm feeling that a lot of you are being asked to um don't allow yourself to get into this place of apathy it's like, oh, I have this feeling, okay, whatever, I don't care. You know, don't dismiss it, delve into it. There's that stubbornness right there. Yeah, it's like the, it's like the information's coming up for you, but if you're not careful, you're going to dismiss it. Also be mindful of your ability to receive. This is all being in the same vein as surrendering to uh, intimacy, allowing yourself to be seen, allowing uh, yourself to be uh, <laughs> vulnerable now this doesn't mean to just go towards anybody and just show yourself no as our girl Brene Brown says it, you need to choose who you feel safe around to be vulnerable with but the thing about it is that if you're dwelling in this scorpionic energy you know that there's a high likelihood that you'll be like oh nobody's that trustworthy so <laughs> please ad make the adjustments so that you can um, take advantage of this time surrender to complete healing I'm getting this idea that this is enough for you to focus on for right now at the bottom of the deck surrender your ego but when I see this ego I'm not seeing arrogance on your end you guys and it, it, remember these readings are timeless and signless so you don't have to have scorpionic placements at all by the way I'm just saying in general um, I'm not seeing this card surrender your ego guys as being you being egotistical or arrogant or conceited it's shows it's it shows more like let down your walls let down your walls which is what this is all about let down your walls Pisces energy Pisces uh, um, energy is very good with dissolving boundaries and it's so interesting because scorpionic energy is this is also a water sign is like very the boundaries are up and then when we have um, cancerian en energies it could go either way right you can really have that push and pull as well i'll let you in i'll put you out you know and we can have that dynamic at all the levels by the way um, but it's just it's it's just yeah so anyway look at this Open fully to the loving, compassionate forces of the universe that support your physical, emotional, and spiritual healing. So this is something that would be wonderful for all of us to practice over the next few days. And then when we have the uh, sun entering into the sign of Scorpio, uh, it would be wonderful to continue doing that. But this is something that we should be doing in general anyway, especially now because we're dealing with people. Okay? Virgo season was definitely about judging and putting those boundaries up with people who you need to have boundaries up. Uh, Libra season is going to be about looking and observing, looking at and observing the energies that find their way into your reality, seeing what you can glean about those energies so that you can assess who you are and who you're being. 
okay and then scorpionic energies if you if you really want to go for the gold you're going to be asked to be vulnerable allow yourself to see and that could be about yeah allow yourself to see who you are see yourself but also allowing yourself to be seen and allow yourself to receive some of you i'm feeling you won't even let someone put their arm around you right <laughs> so <laughs> um so yeah and the guides are saying it's okay for you to put your arm around yourself too because i see with this three of swords a lot of grief going on in the in the community our community hi guys we're a community <laughs> lots of grief going on in the community hidden feelings hidden shadows sadness during this time yes it's okay to let those bubble up to the surface no you are not advised to wallow in it but listen tell yourself i'm gonna sit here and give myself about two hours or today to really feel down and out about what's going on and but i'm also going to put some things in place to pull myself out so i'm going to give myself till 7 p.m to be in my feelings then i'm going to make sure i put on this show that makes me laugh a lot i'm going to make some music or do music or listen to music so make sure that you're approaching it from that standpoint it's not about sitting and wallowing in anything because you don't want to be consumed we're here to learn okay learn about ourselves that is via other people okay so i'm gonna go ahead and leave this reading here it's pretty short and yeah that's nice um, i'm stumbling all over my words because you know <laughs> i didn't want to you know um it's a little late tonight but i didn't want to leave i didn't want to not do this one and skip it so i just so anyway it is what it is ah, and do your best okay and um, keep an eye out because the october 1st reading is going to be out soon within the next few days the october excuse me 2022 reading is going to be out soon also i might put out um the moon and sagittarius soon as well uh what else is coming up uh what's today wednesday okay yeah okay oh we have a few coming up yeah so we have the october 2022 reading coming up for the month and we have week one for october coming up we also have a moon and sagittarius coming up and did i say another one can't remember anyway and then, of course, any client readings uh, that I have scheduled, those will be out as well. And that's it. So until then, guys, love you, love you, love you. Um, have the blessingest of nights and enjoy your moon in Scorpio with compassion for the self. Bye.